Hey guys, I wanted to give you a little bit of an example here to maybe help you with your map today. Uh, I'm noticing that lots of people are spending time on things that aren't important. And here's what I mean. I gave you a bunch of data, uh, and to be honest with you, some of that data really didn't matter too much. Like the number of attacks, uh, your question was what's going to be or where the attacks are going to be day five and six. You don't need to know the number of attacks. That, that information was given to you, but it's not really that usable. Also, uh, you might have noticed that I gave you a map of the United States, and for most of you, that doesn't help at all. And so I really wanted to just remind you to be problem solvers. Uh, right in front of us here, we have a map that I made by hand. I literally drew it um, by hand here, and uh, then just used some Google Maps and started to input the, the places. And I started on day one, which was Seattle, and I just marked Seattle. And then uh, it told me on day two that it moved up to Shoreline, so I have a little arrow, and I'm marked at day two. And it said it moved down to SeaTac International Airport, so I have another arrow that goes down and shows two. And then on day three, it told me it spread a little bit east to Bellevue, spread a little bit southwest to Federal Way, and spread a little bit north west Edmonds and so I just mark those places and put my arrows that's what's important to me is the direction of the spread I didn't need to put the number of attacks because that's not what I'm asking to to solve or being asked to solve and I just did the same thing for day four and so day four is headed over this way and uh, it looks like Redmond kind of a north east and North Creek kind of a northeast I do have Bainbridge um, over there uh, to the west on day four but I noticed something, look, uh, Bainbridge is uh, really close to Seattle, but because of that water, it took it four days to get there. So if I'm gonna predict day five and six, I'm probably not going to predict anything west, uh, directly west of Seattle, because we can see that it's taken the zombies more than uh, just two days to cross that water. Um, my day four down here, I don't have a day four in the very bottom here. And so maybe I'm due for one. Maybe I'm, I'm going to predict that there should be one there. And so what I'm doing is I'm using the information and I'm trying to predict day five and six. And what some of you guys have done is just taken information I've given you and just like replotted it and just put the information. And that wasn't the assignment. So I wanted just to remind you to be problem solvers, to get off of the escalator. Um, you can solve the problem of it not fitting on your map very easily by just creating your own map. Nobody's forcing you to use that map. Flip it over and put California or put the Northeast or put Washington on the back of your map. And then you have the whole paper to fill in these cities. And then again, the important thing is where is this going to go on day five and six? And so I don't care about the number of attacks on day one. That's not part of the assignment. Yes, you have that information, but it's not part of the assignment. I only care about how it's spreading, how it's diffusing, where it's moving. And you can see on this map, I simply um, tracked it uh, in a very easy manner. It wasn't very complicated at all. And so that's really how you should be doing this or, or uh, something similar to this. Thanks.